uh, just over the weekend, I was at the G20 finance ministers meeting at Riyadh. And it's interesting how day by day, we were literally seeing uh, a new situation unfolding. Uh, we arrived on Friday. At that time, the thinking was this seems to be a virus breaking out in the region. South Korea had more cases. And people thought, well, maybe it's more confined to Asia. And the markets were still relatively calm. Then you had Iran breaking out. And then everyone in the Middle East started to worry. And then you had Italy breaking out. And everyone in Europe started to worry. And today you see what has happened in global stock markets. So at the end of our three-day meeting, all the finance ministers and central bank governors concluded that the virus situation will pose a significant downside risk to the global economy. And the big question on everyone's minds is, is this, is the virus containable? In China, it looks like the situation is under control because the new cases are coming down. Within Singapore, we are doing everything we can to contain the spread of the virus. But how will the situation evolve in other countries? It's a big unknown and there is a lot of uncertainty. And if it is not contained well in other countries, including in countries where the health systems uh, may not be of the same standard as what you see in developed countries. So if the virus continues to spread um, in these countries, then you may well start to see sustained widespread transmission of the virus around the world. And that's why in Singapore, we cannot afford to be complacent because we can put in place travel restrictions for China, where the source and the epicenter was. We can do for another country, a second country, a third country, but can we afford to shut ourselves out from the world? And if the virus truly transmits everywhere in the world, then we have to expect the, another wave of new imported cases coming into Singapore, and we have to be prepared for that. And that might well be a scenario where the virus becomes endemic in the human population, and we have to learn how to live with it, right? take the necessary precautions. Um, there may well be, hopefully, some medication that can be promising by then, but, um, learn, but at the same time, we all have to keep calm and carry on with life and, and uh, continue to lead life as it is, but just with the appropriate precautions. So that's one potential trajectory or scenario that can evolve. We do, really don't know what will happen because the situation is evolving so rapidly and it's so fluid. Uh, we continue to be alert and vigilant and we call on all Singaporeans to do so, but at the same time, at the same time stay calm and continue uh, carry on with your lives, but do all that we can to uphold good personal hygiene as we have always advocated and take all precautions uh, to keep Singapore and Singaporeans safe.